What's going on guys? Back at it again. A bit tired, but um trying to get this bad girl up and running. Um been having some issues. I got a cold. Um well here's the thing. This, this is how it happened. I was just driving around. Um all of a sudden I got here, I got home, and uh when I pull up, they started kind of like uh misfiring, idling funny, making some weird noises, and I was like, man, what's going on? And all of a sudden the, the car just threw a check engine light on. So I parked it, luckily I was here. I parked it, uh, I hooked up the computer to it and it gave me a code, P0335 code, which uh, was uh, in regards to the crankshaft uh, position sensor um, miscommunication. So I looked into it, um, I took it off and uh, in order to take it off, you gotta drop the starter and it's right behind it right behind the starter and this is what it looks like. All right, so there's, I didn't see any visible damage. That's just dirty for me messing with it. But um, I didn't see any visible damage on it or anything. So the way to check these is um, there's three pins in there, as you guys can see right there. So you got the little divider there, all right? You're gonna check the two pins on the right, all right? And with a regular multimeter, um, just uh, put it in the ohms and uh it it all it all varies for for all the different uh sensors but for this one specifically it, this has got to be like in the five range so just touch one pin and a bit hard doing it but not steady and then touch the other one and you should get a reading on the actual multimeter all right see five ohms right now it's actually giving me a reading but when i took it off it was giving me zero so this sensor is bad uh because it's acting up you know whenever it starts warming up then it, it starts acting up and it's it doesn't work so uh the replacement for that um i went back with uh, ac delco genuine parts i mean that's the way to go and uh, the part number is actually uh, ac delco 213- three six two zero all right so that's the <coughs> the part number to this new sensor and uh <clears throat> let's go ahead and uh, install it and but yeah that's how you check that out and before you install it just uh lube it up right here around the o-ring all right because you don't want it getting pinched or anything so um you're gonna lube it up and uh you're gonna stick it in there um with no issues and here are the bolts to the starter uh, it's gonna be 13 mils and the 10 mil holding the actual sensor in place. Okay, so uh, as you guys uh, can see on the videos uh, that I'll post up there, um, how I removed it. So um, hope this works out and let me go ahead and uh, in install this and hopefully it solves the issue. All right, so in order to take off the crank sensor, it's this one right here is located behind the actual starter. And um, you have two bolts that go in here that hold the starter in. Um, yeah, see right there. Okay, one right there and one on the other side. So what I did, I took them out and this is what they look like. Voila, they're pretty long, 13 mil heads. Um, and uh, they just hold the starter in place, two of them. So you gotta take those out, all right? And what I did, I left the starter hanging um, with a bungee, see, as you guys can see, I put the bungee there and just held it there. And um, you got a couple of sensors down here, all right? Here's one of them, which that, that's not it. And there's another one further up here. And, oh, actually right here, sorry. Um, right here, right next to this one, Let's see, right here. So that one's covered up, that one's not it either. You have to take the, the starter off and the crankshaft position sensor is back there. So that's the sensor right here. It's held on by a 10 mil bolt, which is this one right here. All right, so it's held on by that. And uh, what I used, I used the ratchet, this regular ratchet with a small 10 mil to have access to it, you know, cause it's pretty tight on there. So you need the leverage. Uh, in order to break it and then I used um, a ratchet a 10 mil ratchet just to get it all the way out and then I uh, do it by hand it's a lot better if the the car is cold 
because if it's warm, the starter is going to be really, really hot. Exhaust, I have headers, um, cools off pretty quick, but the starter, it stays really, really warm. So it'll, it'll burn your hand. Um, and then after that, just go ahead and reach in there and bring it out. It should pop out pretty easily. There it is. Okay, so it pops out real easy. All right, there it is. Put a little bit of grease on it. Nice and lubricated, ready to go in. And uh, let me go ahead and uh, install it now. All right, guys, so uh, we finished installing the sensor, and now I'm here with the uh, psychic <laughs> and my better half. Look at her with her new backpack, look, look, look. new collar. <laughs> a little piggy. Little piggy. All right, so anyways, uh, sensor's installed. Um, thanks to my boy Nikki for hooking me up with the scanner to be able to do the, the relearn on the crankshaft sensor. The CPK, I think is what they call it, something like that. I'm not very familiar with it, but we're gonna figure it out today. All right, so uh, first off, let me connect this expensive piece of uh, machinery. Okay, so uh, scanner's connected. Um, I'll be going through it, putting all the information of the core. Oh, wait. <coughs> Automatic ID, let it find its own. <coughs> and this is a snap on Solus Legend. <coughs> all right, uh, we're gonna go to engine, uh, it's a manual. Uh, we're going to go to functional tests, uh, CKP variation learn. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do on it. All right. Set parking brake, lock drive wheel, cycle ignition from off to on. To on. All right. Continue. Apply and hold brake pedal. Start engine. <clears throat> Anyways, guys, sorry, I forgot I was uh, getting recorded. Nikki, thanks for the scanner, bro. Tomorrow, I'm gonna give you a big old hug, just like you like it, and a kiss on the head. Um, so that's it for the relearn and the sensor install. Hope this uh, helps you guys out, and catch you guys on the next one.